Hello, my name is Piers Badnell. I'm a pastor to profit consultant with LIC. Um, I'm based in southern England. Um, what I'm here today is to talk you through some dry strategies and dry grazing strategies. Uh, the forecast going forward is very dry, quite warm, uh, not a lot of rain in the forecast and we've not had a lot of rain recently. So we really need to start to look to see how we can actually extend grass into the, into the dry period and how we can make the most out of it. So first of all, before I start anything else, there are a key couple of key things I'm going to talk about. One is average cover, we need to protect that. And secondly, whatever we do, we need to hit residual because the residual is actually an investment for going forward for the next round and, and subsequent round through the rest of the season to make sure we get quality and we get quantity. So first of all, we need to get the residual. Secondly, a ryegrass plant has three live leaves. The first one is the smallest at fifth, about 15% of yield. The second one is the uh, second biggest at about 40% of the plant's yield. And finally the third leaf at 45% of the yield. So what I'm talking about now is actually enhancing, enhancing and, and, and grabbing what the plant does and making sure that we capture that full third leaf. So actually we have as much as the grass can give us so we can actually stretch our grass into the dry period. Ryegrass is not drought tolerant so it, it eventually it will it, it will slow right up but what we can do through good management is extend how long we can use it into that dry period and the longer we can do that the closer rain is coming which will then rescue us and get the grass plant back going again so what's really important is actually to grow our ryegrass plants out to the full third leaf so that will mean that actually our round length has to increase so that we get the full third leaf out before we graze it so we really need to now invest now basically by feeding what we call feeding the wedge so now is the time to bring some supplements in uh, potentially to bring some supplements in so we can extend that round so we can get our leaves out to the full third leaf and actually harvest the full potential of the plant um, so we need to extend that, that, that grass into the dry period as far as we can um, and fundamentally rain will come but what we want to try and do is minimize the amount of supplements we have to use in the end so therefore it's about an investment in the, in the, at the beginning so what does this look like on the on the left here we've got a 2800 entry cover so most swords of about 2800 or so will be two and a half to three leaves it does depend where you are and the size of the plant etc etc but in this example it's two and a half leaves it comes to about two eight what i'm suggesting is actually we let that third leaf come out which might mean at full three leaves we're coming into entry covers of three one three two three three don't get too hung up on the numbers it's about that third length that third leaf and the full length but what it will mean is probably higher covers than we're going into the downside of a really dry period is that actually lack of water growth starts to suffer suffer the upside of it is actually utilization of something when we get to three two three three is a lot easier so therefore we, we should actually be able to utilize what we're going to grow there is no point growing it if you're not going to utilize it so we really need to hit those residuals so what does that look like in terms of a wedge well here's the standard wedge 280 in 1500 down grazed down to average farm cover of about 2150 but actually if we take out the full third leaf and go up to say in this example 33 for example that will lift our average cover to about 2400 so we've actually got more grass on the platform and it will last us further into that so one of the other advantages not only do we have more grass on the platform but as you raise that average cover by one 100 what we end up with is we get a higher growth rate and that's about 7.4 from studies that are shown so for every 100 kilos of average cover that will put growth rate up just that little bit so if we imagine the difference between for example a 2.4 and say 2.1 that's 300 kilos difference so it's about 21 22 kilos of growth rate difference so it's a sort of compounding effect we're actually getting the most out of the plant also over a season actually by increasing the, the round length by one day you will end up with 200 kilos more uh, growth through the uh, at the end of the season but that's a that's an overall overall season thing what we're talking about now really principally is there for the next month or so until we start to get some rain again so in essence we need to get that rotation length out so we can actually capture the third leaf no point going beyond it to try and get a fourth because then the first leaf is dying off so extend your rotation utilize the grass but hit the residuals 
The one other thing in here is that we need accurate allocation. Grass dry matters at the moment will be in the low to maybe mid 20s. So therefore there's probably more than your plate meter is actually um, suggesting there is. So we need to make sure we have accurate allocation so that actually we can drive that residual down and actually fully benefit from what the grass can give us. That's enough from t for me for now. Um, there's three of us in the country covering the country. There's Bestiazzi in the north covering Scotland and in uh, Northern England, and Sean Chubb in Central England and in Wales, and myself in the south. If you need someone to talk through this, give us a ring. Thank you very much.